ladies and gentlemen, the inaugural speech of the 31st Governor of the Province of Pangasinan. Thank you. We may all uh, take our seats. My family, Mahan, and my four kids, my parents, Papa and Mama, Congressman Monchi and Gipo Jr. and uh, Mama Arlene, my uh, siblings and their respective uh, families, Mahan, uh, to all the Aguilas, Congressman uh, Mark Kowanko, former Congresswoman Kimi, Gowanko, Mayor Cesar Kiambao, Mayor uh, Nina Kiambao, Congresswoman uh, Richel Arenas, Abono Party List Congressman Eskimo Australia, incoming uh, Dar Secretary, Secretary Conrado Estrella III, Congressman Art Sineste and family, to all uh, regional directors and uh, public servants of the various uh, agencies of our government, our investors, my uh, fellow leaders in Pangasinan, mayors, vice mayors, councillors, our barangay leaders, our um, provincial heads and employees, all of us today, good morning to all. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. I have never been so nervous in my life. Sensya. <laughs> Actually, I did not expect to be here. No? Parang isa pong pangarap lang. I am standing before you, humbled by the first mandate of leaving this great province as your newly elected Governor, I am forever thankful, grateful, and full of gratitude, first to God, whose wonderful workings in me from my childhood until, until now continue to amaze me. Truly, He is an awesome God. When I decided to run for governor, I prayed so hard for wisdom, good health, and divine science, which will help me cement my belief that I am going to win in this gigantic political battle. I asked God for four signs, signs which to me were seemingly impossible and beyond anybody's control, including that of me. As this moves forward, he is gradually turning my research into reality, and then came the overwhelming support of our people, and ended up with sweet victory. Again, thank you, Father God, for this great privilege of leading this beautiful province of yours. Next to him is my family. To my wife, Nan, 
and our three children, Zik, Ethan, and Rana, and Chichin. You are all my source of joy, strength, and inspiration, and especially during the campaign period. To my family, the abundance of your understanding, love, and care makes myself rejuvenated. That's teaching. <laughs> to my family, the abundance of your understanding, love, and care makes myself rejuvenated even after my long days of hard labor and toil. In the more than 1,200 barangays that we have visited. I know that our family has made lots of sacrifices for this endeavor. Most notably, most of the time used which I should be spending with you. My only known reward for this is the fulfillment in feeling the families of Pangasinenses to be the direct recipients of our family's sacrifices. For this and so many other reasons, Mahan, I love you so much. Kita mo, sweet din ako. And uh, to my four kids, always remember that Daddy loves you so much. To my parents, Mayor Monsignor Rico Jr., who a day from now will serve as the next congressman of the 5th District of Pangasinan. And my mama, Dr. Arlene Grace V. Rico, they both molded me to become the person I am today. From my formative years up to date, they both continue to teach me the values of hard work discipline and love for God and love for people. I look at and my papa's political work, calmness and stability in dealing with difficult situations and his resolute political maneuverings especially during crunch time and home stretch periods. My mama is a very very powerful woman. There is wisdom and comfort in her words and actions. I still remember the days when Mama would bring all of us as well as uh, Sunday school service. There I started to learn how to sing. Konti lang. That's why I can sing during sorties, during a campaign. I can play a little instrument. I have gained friends and learn the basics of communication. Papa and Mama, you have prepared me well for this huge task ahead of me. I love you so much. Ayaw akong tumingin sa Papa ko, umiiyak siya. Brothers and sisters, may I do? Michael, Melissa, Michelle and Patrick and your respective families. I will always be your Kuya Mon I thank all of you for the love and support, especially during my trying times as a public servant. For this I want to say, Kuya Mon Mon will always be here for all of you and I love you as always. To the parents of Aguila, there is no better way to start my message than to say a big thanks to all of you. Alam ba ito natin na Aguila? Mayor Cesar Kiambao and Mayora Nina Kiambao, Congressman Art Celeste and family, and the whole Celeste family, Congressman Mark Kowalko, and former Congresswoman Kimi Kowalko. I still remember the day, Congressman, when you asked for a meeting. You came to my place. 
If you will run for governor, I will run for congressman. If you will not run for governor, I will not run for congressman, but I will register in Lingayen. I remember that day, Kong Mike. Congressman Conrad Estrella III, who is our incoming secretary of the Department of Agrarian Reform, Congressman Eskimo Estrella, and the Bonaparte list. You were all instrumental in making my decision to run for the governorship of the province. Trinabaho no talaga ako hanggang sa hindi na ako makatanggi sa inyong panunuyo. Halos linggo-linggo kung ay Mayor Cesar, they would call on weekends, mon mon, what is your decision? For almost one year. Ang sarap talaga balikan yung mga panahon na tayo hindi pa noon makapagpasya kung sino talaga ang patatakbohin bilang gobernador sa dami at laki ng inyong tulong, pinangakong tulong, ako po ay inyong napaoo. I am privileged to have known leaders like you who are true to their words and commitment. My family and I, again, are forever indebted to you. Ang panalo ko ay panalo natin lahat. Of course, Vice Governor Mark Lambino, Our tandem has produced so many good things for our province. Our Agilam is now synonymous to being visionary leaders and cavaliers for good governance. With your stewardship of the Sangguniang Panlalawigan, you will be my partner in the pursuit of genuine reforms in the province. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vice Governor for the opportunity to work with you and for the friendship we have built over a short period of time. To all our leaders and supporters, your unwavering commitment amidst the so many pressures and rigors of the campaign is highly appreciated. I hope, I hope I can return the favor the best way I can. Maraming maraming sa inyo, salamat sa inyo. Balbalig ya salamat at si kayo namin. And to the 885,272 who voted for me, put their trust in me, believe in me. I am firm in my resolve to give you and our province the kind of service which you truly deserve. Maraming maraming salamat din po sa inyo lahat. My visit to the more than 1,200 barangays of our province has helped me understand better the real situation and the living conditions of our people. For this, my leadership is determined to introduce the needed help for our marginalized province mates and to give them new hope for a better tomorrow. My vision for a progressive province will cross paths or cross political boundaries. My vision for the province will transcend crooked paths and navigate uncharted domains. I am willing to take the road less traveled just to fulfill my campaign promises to our people. The expectations of our people is a marching order to all of us that we need to do more, work more, and accomplish more. My incumbency as your governor will focus on the following major programs and policies. Good governance, 
which includes good housekeeping, fiscal management, efficient use of manpower, transparency, and accountability. In the exercise of our vast power and authority, we need to be more prudent, just, we need to be humane, and we need to be constructive. Economy. Let us make Pangasinan a haven for business, commerce, and trade. East Peru's highway of the province will open so many doors for domestic and foreign investments and establish trade agreements. Later on, we will just witness the first signing of an investment agreement. To be established in the municipality of Bayambang. We will create a special office for investments and promotion of the province, taking into consideration some of the best practices in doing business, such as one stop shop. We should shun red tapes and the possible granting of tax incentives and benefits. We will have to establish more economic zones in the second district, in the first district, in addition to the first economic zone in Binalonan that is, uh, has been already operating for more than a year. And soon, we dream of more economic zones in the entire province of Pangasinan. A vibrant economy means more job opportunities. If we empower our people via their earning capacity, revolusyon laban sa kahirapan, then we are assured of so many positive results inside the family and our community as well. Education. Let us strengthen our basic education program and institutionalize our scholarship programs. Quality education should not should be made accessible to all. And let us use all the available government educational institutions such as the Pangasinan State University and the three and one forthcoming local colleges and universities, let us partner with them. Let us strengthen our ties with them. Let us complement with them. The goal is let us make quality basic, secondary, tertiary education for all Pangasinenses. Ang pangarap ko ay sana, like what I did in Binalonan, when we established the local university, the University of Eastern Pangasinan. Ang pangarap ko sana sa bawat pamilya dito sa Pangasinan ay magkaroon kahit isang miyembro lamang ng makapagtapos ng koleyo at magkaroon ng marangal na hanap buhay. Health Services let us improve our hospital operation and management. Let us hire more doctors and nurses and other medical practitioners. Let us introduce modern equipment and facilities. What's important, let us always give a comforting smile to our patients and our clientele. Dapat pagpagsiservisyohan po natin ang ating mga pasyente, lagi tayong nakangiti. Lagi tayong magpakita ng tunay na malasakit para guwapo po tayo lahat at guwapa. Food security. Let us further introduce and uh, step up the farm mechanization program institutionalize farmers' assistance like the, the e-agro ecosystem as advocated by Mayor Cesar Kiambao. We ensure that the whole process chain 
from farm to market to table will be done in an effective and efficient manner where farmers can also find where to sell their produce at the right price. Where farmers can also source for financing with low interest rates. That is an app that we would like to introduce in the province of Pangasinan. Let us also introduce, aside from rice and corn, let us introduce high-value crops in the farming industry. Let us protect the fishing industry from vicious schemes and external threats and hazards. Let us improve the livestock production through our several breeding stations. Peace and order, we have to strengthen our law enforcement. That's why we have the full force of the Philippine National Police and the various agencies to help us keep peace and order. Let us increase police visibility and presence. Let us establish a quick response team. Let us also take care of our environment. Ever since I was a young boy, I keep on asking myself, what is the true meaning of life? And what is its purpose? I believe that this, uh, with this rare privilege of leading an almost 3.5 million Pangasinenses and such a big but beautiful province at that, I am now beginning to understand of what life is as well as its purpose. I am a herdsman of numerous people and keeper of an enormous province. Also, I came to realize that for one to become a great leader, it is not enough that one should have talents. It is not enough that one should be charismatic. It is not enough that you have to have good looks. It is not enough that you become an eloquent orator. But more than anything else, it is to have the wisdom, like Solomon, like King Solomon, to recognize that we have our own weaknesses and frailties. And out of these circumstances is the fact that only God can make us strong leaders. And having said this, I am ready to say that in spite of our mortal limitations, we can still implore others' talents, others' skill and wisdom to complement our shortfalls and thereby empowering ourselves to do many more great things for our province. I am a firm believer of human resource empowerment. You know, for us to accomplish more, let us all do our fair share. The fact that we are all here today is a manifestation that you are one with me in my pursuit for a more livable Pangasinan. Let me say to you, and time and again, and I have said this in all of our sorties, that as governor of the province of Pangasinan, I will be a unifying leader. <clears throat> to end up, I, Ramon Belicaya, Giko III, a true son of Pangasinan, is now ready to take the stage, to take the mantle of responsibility, and to shout to the entire province and to the whole world at that, that Pangasinan, Pangasinan is angaling. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you for gracing this memorable occasion. May the good Lord bless us all. Thank you.